Counter that breaking news that we've been all over this morning. Two people were shot at the epicenter in Uptown Charlotte. One of them is dead. Police did fire shots, but we don't know which shots hit those two people. The shooting happened at about two o'clock this morning. We can tell you no officers were hurt. We've seen SBI detectives out there on this scene. They are working with CMPD. We have reporter Gina Esposito who's going to start us off on our team coverage. And Gina, you just got some new details from state investigators. Yeah, Brittany, just in the past 10 minutes, I spoke with SBI special agent, and she tells me that at least two CMPD officers fired shots early this morning. That shooting happened right here at the corner of Trade and College, just outside of the epicenter. You can see they still have crime tape up. SBI has been busy collecting evidence at this corner all morning long. I want to show you some video that we shot earlier this morning when they had some of the evidence on the ground. We could see a silver gun. We also saw some clothes and some shoes on the ground as well. There's a lot that they need to sort out. I want to show you some video that we shot just after two o'clock this morning when the shooting happened. Witness, witnesses tell me that they saw two men come out of the epicenter and start shooting at each other. They say CMPD officers were nearby and they responded. Witnesses tell me they heard those officers tell those two men to drop their guns. At one point, at least two CMPD officers, as according to SBI, said that they fired shots. It's unclear, though, what shots hit those two people involved. We do know that medic took two people to the hospital, and CMPD confirmed earlier this morning that one person did die and a second is still recovering in the hospital. CMPD also said that their officers were not hurt. As we come back out here live, SBI also says that they are on the way to speak with family of the person who did die to notify about that. We're still waiting on some names there as well as the names of the CMPD officers involved. Now let's check in now with Anthony Gaster with more from what he's hearing from people in Uptown this morning. And Gina, we actually just heard from one person who works at uh, one of the nearby hotels here just outside of the epicenter. He told me that he was working last night about 2 a.m. when that gunfire erupted. Initially, he says that he thought it was just the ice machine, but it sounded a little too odd. So he stepped outside and then he saw all of the commotion here. And right now you can still see the officers here in full force. You can still see some of that crime scene tape as well. The epicenter in the heart of Uptown, and you can see it's filled with bars and restaurants, and it would have been packed on a Thursday night about 2 a.m. when the shooting happened. People we talked to say their phones were flooded with messages asking if they were okay. Because there wasn't a lot of information at the time, they decided to stay inside at the bars and restaurants because they felt like that was the safest thing to do. Now, we talked to one man who was working at the time. He came outside and saw all the police cars, and he's so frustrated like, that something like this would happen in such a busy area. First, they were fighting. They pulled out guns, started shooting at each other. They were about this close, and they were missing each other. And then they tumbled, they were stumbling, they were trying to get, the, one dude was trying to get the gun off of him. They kept shooting at the gun at the floor, ricocheting. Then the cops was around the corner, all of a sudden the guy heard the cops say, drop your gun. They kept shooting. Dump out of me, dump out of me. We have some people yelling, obviously really frustrated about all the violence that we're seeing in Uptown. I apologize if you heard any of that. I want to send it back to Brittany, though, for now. Brittany. Thank you, Anthony. You be careful out there. We're going to continue our breaking news coverage. We've told you about several other shooting incidents in and around the epicenter. In late September, police arrested Raheem Shaklet. They say that he fought with someone at the epicenter, fired a shot, and missed his target. Instead, that bullet hitting and killing Dr. John Holliday. He was simply walking down the sidewalk in Uptown. And then three weeks ago, we showed you that CMPD started increasing their foot patrols around the epicenter after that shooting. The department used a grant to hire off-duty officers from around the city to walk between the epicenter and the transit center. Most of those extra shifts are in the morning and after hours. And we're going to continue staying on top of every angle of the story all morning, so keep it right here. And if you do have to leave the house, just make sure that you have our WSOC app downloaded on your cell phone. We'll be sending out any breaking news alerts as soon as we get new information on this. Of course, we'll also bring you any police news conferences that happen live as soon as they happen.